What you watching, baby? <clears throat> oh, wow. That's, that's, that's your daughter? Oh, wow. Oh, she's so cute. Not such a cute photo. Video. It's a video of a video. Oh. It's a video of a video. We're watching a video of a video, Vaughn. You're a little low, Vaughn. Oh, the mic. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. Let me check. How's your morning audio. going? Doing all right, man. Let me check my audio. Uh, check my audio. The wife is watching video of videos. Did oh, someone vid someone record a video watching a video? <laughs> <laughs> ah, there you go. Oh. That's, that's good. That's good. 98. And put it back up to 100. There we go. Outstanding, Maynard. Oh, man. We are, I mean, moving out and, and packing and, and the whole transition, man. It is brutal, man. It is brutal. Ooh yeah. And we still got things to do. I, I got the, I got the uh, TV set up and the Xbox X mm -hmm. set up. But I have to, I have to use my hotspot on my phone to use the internet to watch Netflix on the big TV. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, but I called T-Mobile and they, uh, so Spectrum. I called Spectrum and they don't have service in this part of the uh, the world, huh? So I'm like, uh, um, okay, that's so weird. I, you had you had internet service where I was not too far away it's like what's going on there but eh, whatever yeah, yeah. so i called t-mobile they're shipping me up they're shipping me a, um, a, a modem for the home internet very good so we're back to it. problem yeah well yeah. team you know that t-mobile internet was shitty remember that the early days yeah. of my internet it yeah. was it was bad yeah so. well comcast comcast wasn't no better i mean they used to call it com crap for a reason because it was horrible uh, it may know, be I worse. Don't... I think T-Mobile may be worse than Comcraft, to be honest with you. <laughs> really? oh, I don't know. I don't know. I've never used either one, so I can't say. But yeah, uh, but yeah they what do you to... want again? You're on Spectrum, right? I'm on Spectrum. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm on that. But, but yeah, it used to be. Uh, what the fuck they used to call it? Uh, uh, well, hell, I don't remember what they used. I don't to call remember. It. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, I'm on Spectrum, man. I'm on Spectrum. I, I nothing but S's, man. Spectrum, yeah. Skype, Steam. As you know, and it's like, boy, I hope I can keep all the messes straight because <laughs> it's all <laughs> right. right. But uh, but yeah, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. Don't know. No. Pretty good, right? Yeah. So, anything interesting happen? Anything big in the news? Anything we're missing? Anything we got to talk about? Uh, well, um, I, you know, I touched on a few things this morning. Uh, you know, I mostly talked about what was happening tomorrow in court, but um, I did touch on a few things. Um, you know, I just oh yeah, court date. When is the court date again? Tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Oh, tomorrow. Yep, tomorrow morning. And then that should be a fi you sh that should be finished, and then you're taking over the estate, right? Well, that's well, no, well, I don't know. Um, it all depends. I mean, you know, I submitted my paperwork. We'll see what the judge has to say. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow any more than the next guy, but we'll see what happens tomorrow. But mm -hmm. she wanted a list of everything, and I, I reminded her that I'm not a licensed appraiser, and she said, I, I want a list. I'm like, okay, I'll give you a list. So that's what I've done. I gave her a list. Yeah. And uh, we'll, well, let's see we'll if this judge is on you. Let's see. Well, I mean, this is the well, same now, judge that gave you the victory of the uh, going into the double wide, right? That's correct. And like I said, the judge has already said that they have to pay restitution. Okay, that is a done deal. She's already said it in court. In court on the record. So the so the, the so the, so there is a reprisal for against the frost for them to oh, pay absolutely. for you. Yeah, okay. absolutely. They they are not getting away. They are not getting out of this. They took, and that includes the rent, right? I hope so. I'm, I'm hoping okay. so. But they took, they took stuff that don't belong to them, and so they're going to have to give it up. They ain't got no choice. They have to give that stuff back. It don't belong to them. I don't know where in the world everybody's getting this idea that that money belongs to them and that property belongs to them. No, it don't. They're not even blood relatives to my mother. They're from a half yeah. brother named Arnold. That's yeah, why yeah. James Arnold Frost. That's why James Arnold Frost's middle name is Arnold because that's the bloodline he's from. He's from Arnold's bloodline. Well, who's who's Arnold? Arnold is a half brother to my mother. See, Guilford married two women. He he married an English woman and, a, and an Indian. Okay, so he married two women. Okay, so Arnold is from the from the white woman, 
And, you know, mom is from the uh, Native American woman. Okay. And that's, right. you know, it's just the way it is. Sorry. Now they're right. trying Sorry to. Sorry about your luck. Yeah. They're trying to spin it and saying that, you know, oh, well, it doesn't matter what, which, which mom, which mom they had. Yeah, it does. Fuck yes, it yeah, does. That makes it all the difference. If you're a half brother or not a brother, half sister, half Fuck brother, yes. that's a big difference. It's a big difference. Yeah, it does matter. Okay, they're they're trying to make like a dome. Yeah, it does. It, it a does. shared parent makes them blood. Well, only a little, but 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 James. But the problem is, Von James Von James Paul Von Helton is full blood, not 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 a half blood. Not a half blood. That's right. Right. He's not. He, he's he's a full blooded right. heir, heir to the whole estate. He is. Correct. He's the next in line. Correct. I'm the next in line. I'm the last in line. <laughs> First and last in line because it ends and starts with you. Yes, buddy. It ends and starts with me, just as I said. That's, it. That's as simple as that, buddy. And it's as simple as that. That's right. It's as simple as that. It is. I guess some people want to know what's your channel on Odyssey because people don't know what channel you're on. What's Dude, your Odyssey I link? link? I left a link. It's it's. Uh, hang on, now. I'll get you. I'll get you a link. Hang on, I get you a link. I I I left a link, bro. I you know. Pretty well, good. I guess just give it to me in the private chat. I'll put it in the public chat. Yeah, I'll give it to you. I'll give you the link to all of them. That way you can put them all. Well, out. I know it's odyssey.com slash at real Von Helton. That's the news network one. Uh, and Von Helton is the um, uh, Von Helton one is the, um, uh, the the aircrafts. Yeah. Okay. There's one. And then. Uh, What's plans for today, baby? Still keep on packing. Yeah. We're gonna keep on packing, unpacking, packing and packing. Set up the other room. Packing. Stacking. We're gonna keep going one by one, each room, each room. Chopping that meat. All right, there we go. That's good. That's good. Keep on going. Yeah, we got a lot to go, and and like I said, I'm gonna do the diecast racing channel here very soon. I'm oh, yeah, you're going to get that back up and running? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, it's stuff that I've been doing, so, yeah, I'm going to get it up and running. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll get it back going over the history of how it was, how everything come together and whatnot. And So, yeah, it's going to happen. We're going to get it all up there, man. It's all going to be done right. Everything's going to be done right. But, I want, like I said, I want to wait to see what, what happens today, see if we can uh, get any kind of uh, action going today. And... Um, and uh, hopefully get uh, the matter resolved amicably. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, we'll see hey, how it goes. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm looking for, looking for. I'm looking for Jack action to get my satisfaction. Looking for Jack action. I'm looking, looking. Yeah. So I get. I guess I got a big new. I got. I don't know. I use the uh, MXM network, which is uh, Donald Trump Jr.'s app for news, and uh, I got mm -hmm. a news alert saying that I guess uh, Biden he flew out to Kiev. I met with yeah. the uh, comedian uh, in chief. Mm -hmm. Well, one comedian in chief with the other comedian in chief, if you know <laughs> what I mean. Um, and they, uh, I guess they were talking about sending weapons and money and more war and stuff. So I don't know what happened because the next day Putin is signing a, 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 a peace treaty. Did you mm -hmm. hear about this? Is Putin signing a peace treaty? I never heard anything about it. I didn't hear. So maybe we do a quick Google, see what the news is saying about that. I want to Google it right now. I'll Google yeah. it right now. Is there a peace treaty? Hopefully we can get this shit under control. I'm sick of hearing about people getting blown up. To be honest with you, and how many people are really getting blown? And I'm up sick there? of spend. I'm sick of the government spending my money to give the fucking foreigners that don't deserve no money. These Ukrainians don't deserve none of my any of American money. Uh, hundreds of billions of dollars for what bombs and and then and then it, all that money goes into the pockets of the of uh, Biden's kids and Nancy Pelosi's kids and everyone yeah. else who has their hands in the cookie jar in, in Ukraine. It, it, all that money goes to big rich politicians. That's all that money goes to. Um. It, oh, 
Okay. Well, let's see. Um, I want to. I'm going to change the results. Okay. Let's see. Past week. Past week. Um. Hmm. Uh, Putin blames the West for Ukraine war and suspends nuclear arms treaty, adding to tensions with the U.S. on the Ukraine war anniversary. Oh, uh, President okay. President Putin announced Tuesday that Russia will pull back from the nuclear arms treaty. So uh, maybe that's you know, what I maybe I maybe I misread it. So he's going to he's up his up in his nuclear game, huh? He's up in the nuclear game. I, I hopefully it's a bluff though. Hopefully it's not real. Um, yeah, and if, if Putin, if you're watching, we don't don't pl please don't drop a nuke on my head. Yeah, all right, yeah, don't, yeah, don't be, don't be. B Biden yeah. is a crooked politician. His son's a crackhead, and right. we have a you know they're a corrupt family, corrupt politicians. Don't let them get you. You know, right, right. Yeah, two two twenty one twenty 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 three. Yeah, that's that's current. That's that's yeah, that's current. current. Yeah, yeah. Putin says he will stop participating. And the nuclear arms uh, deal. Let's see here. I mean, let me uh, take a look. See here. Uh, Putin says Russia will stop participating in its last nuclear treaty with the United States. Uh, Moscow speaking a joint session of the Russian par parliament and Kremlin officials. Uh, Russian President Vladimir Putin uh, presented the war in Ukraine as an ex ex existential struggle against the West. Uh, while announcing he was suspending Russia's participation in the last remaining arms control treaty with the United States. They are the ones who started this war, and we are using our forces to put a stop to it, said Putin, referring to the conflict in Ukraine. Putin delivered his remarks days ahead <clears throat> of the one-year anniversary of the Kremlin's full-scale invasion of its neighbor. Uh, the assembled audience include uniformed soldiers, uh, the Kremlin said had come directly from the front lines of Moscow's special military operation in Ukraine. Notice he's not calling it a war. He's calling it a special military operation. Yeah, that's special important. operations mission. That's, yeah. that's important. That's important distinction. Uh, Putin acknowledged Russia's significant losses in the war and called on those present to stand for a moment of silence in their memory. Uh, the Russian leader also promised a range of social support packages for families of the fallen. Uh, much of the speech also addressed economic issues, but Putin claiming Western sanctions had failed. Uh, they haven't achieved anything, and they won't," said Putin. Uh, who knows? Yeah, I've been. I, I I'm subscribed to a Russian guy on YouTube, and he was showing out. She was showing the uh, supermarkets and the markets, and it's it seemed like the 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 uh, embargo on Russia is not really affecting them too not much. Really they got well, food. They got everything they Russia's need. So you know? goddamn, Russia's so goddamn big. They can fucking grow whatever they want. Yeah, Russia's, they can do whatever Russia's they want. Russia's huge, yeah. like China. They can grow whatever the fuck they want. They're huge. Yeah. Uh, Putin also did indicate that the fighting might end and did not specify Russia's ultimate goals beyond protecting the Russian-speaking population in eastern Ukraine from genocide being perpetrated by the Ukrainian government. Okay, so uh, Putin did also indicate how the fighting might end. So maybe that's what you heard. He said the fighting might end. Um, but I don't know. Um, you know, I think the fighting would end if we could um, do a regime change here in the United States. <laughs> yeah. I, think, I have a funny feeling that, that Putin's war in the Ukraine would suddenly come to a screeching halt if we had regime change here in the United States. Call me crazy, but I got I got a funny feeling that it would. This yeah. Be yeah, got a funny feeling. Call it a hunch. <laughs> Call it a hunch, man. Oh, I uh, by the way, I had uh, I had uh, I had uh, uh, Christine in, in the chat this morning, but she didn't say anything. Uh, it just had her name, uh, and and it's like, well, damn, what'd she say? So now I'm now I'm dying to know what it was she said because it's not there. I'm not seeing it. All I see is her name. So I don't know what's going on unless maybe it shows me when they log in. I don't know. It, it didn't say anything about logging in, though. Uh, so if she left a message, I didn't see it. All I see is blank. Maybe go over to my over to my. Uh, Who left uh, you a message? Uh, 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 um, our friend. Um, fuck me. I just uh, mine just. Candace? Just got, uh, no, no. The other one. 
Yeah, the one that was doing home interior shit. <laughs> Wendy? <laughs> no, not Wendy. Our uh, she's a mod on on our fucking channel, dude. Oh, whoa, whoa. oh, fuck Christine, me! I Christine, now I forgot Christine. too. Christine, Christine, Christine. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, Chris. Oh, Chris. Oh, Chris. Simply Krista. Krista, simply Krista. Yeah, her name showed up in the chat. But there's no, there's no talk. There's no comment. There's no nothing. So oh, well, I see. So, so see if you can see anything, because I couldn't see shit. All I saw was her name. The problem is I'm using my mobile device, and it's and it sucks, the features. Uh, if I start doing other things, it'll kick me out of this it'll room, kick you and out of this it's one. not yeah, fun. And then that's, uh, that's no so surprise. I'll take a look later. Yep, take a look later. Because I can't see shit. I'm, it's not there. I don't know why it's not there. It's very strange. Oh, testing. Am I here? Did yep, I lose? You're here. Yeah, you're oh. here. Yeah, you're oh, here. Oh, see that that's the problem. I tried to look, but it's the problem with the mobile device. I can't really do well, much with it. I'll check just, later. Yeah, don't, yeah, check later. Don't move because if yeah. you move, it might lose connection. So just stay still. Yeah. Stay, stay perfectly still. So what's your plans for the rest of the day for you, Von? Modding some fallout? I'm working on these cabinets. I'm gonna get these cabinets knocked out. Hopefully I get them all knocked out today. I'm I'm down. I'm I'm you know, I'm in the home stretch. I got the upper left, upper right, and the sink area done. So now I got to do the lower right, and then I got to yeah. do the corner uh, parts. And then that that should be it. I should be good to go at that point. Yeah, I, uh, I'm speaking of cabins. The wife put the kitchen together. Well, the kitchen stuff, oh, mm -hmm. man, she did a good job of unpacking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did a hell of a job. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And those cabins are coming out nice, Vaughn. I mean, you showed me the other day about, you know, a little bit of it, and they're looking nice. I like the blue oven look. I love the blue refrigerator look. That was pretty cool. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you, you wanted uh, me to show you the um, <laughs> the bright neon colors. And uh, so, I'll, yeah, let me do that right quick. Because, yeah. Um, yeah, that yeah, I, I'm not joking when I said they had really bright colors back then, because they did. But it it was cool. I I want I want colors. I want variety. What the fuck happened, man? Yeah. I mean, you know. Yeah, everything is fucking either. Everything is fucking black nowadays. Everything is it, a fucking shots color. Gray. Black or gray. Yeah. And it's it's like, like no well, color. There's there's no color no anymore in things. Well, it, let me take that back. Every now and then you get something in white, but it's always black, gray, or white. And it's like, goddamn, man. You know, I remember the. Well, I don't remember them, but I kind of remember them because of watching it on tv but i um, mean you know they used to have bright colors and shit and it's like you know what the yeah. fuck happened man everything's black white or gray the now. new world and, order took over and they took away our uh, individuality they took away choice took, that's what they, they did away, they took away all our colors man they took away yeah our, took away the fucking people. colors yeah and give me back that. my fucking colors give me back give me back my bullets Put them back where they belong. All right, let me see here. Uh, I mean, I want to show you the bright, bright yellow, buddy. I mean, neon, neon fucking yellow, man. <laughs> and uh, what the hell? Oh, okay, there we go. I got to select it. Throw you on the big screen. There you yeah, go. Yeah, sure. There we go. Yeah, look at there. Hey, right here, and you can only see a sliver of it, but there it is. Bright yeah, the neon. yellow. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, I bright, like that kitchen. Bright neon yellow. Now his splash is just white with a pattern on it. Uh, my splash is a little bit better. I've got uh, actual an actual backsplash. Uh, this here is just I think I. Yeah, it's still backsplash. pretty all right. It's a nice uh, minimalistic design. Yeah, yeah, it yeah it is it is. Uh, my I like of course you know I'm partial. I like mine better, but still. Well, you like you like fucking unique shit. That's what I it like is. Unique shit. Now there's backsplash number number. Which number is it? Uh, That's a good little. That looks a good. It's black splash, yeah. Yeah. And black splash. There's, there's green, and then there's another green. It's not easy being green, and uh, there's yellow, and there is red and orange, and uh, so those are the back splashes, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I, it, well, let's see, I'll just throw it up there. <laughs> There it is. There's a backsplash on the back here. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, that is pretty cool. That is nice. Is. Now the sink is operational, right? Uh, the yeah, the MPC will go up and do the dishes. <laughs> I just got to put some dishes up there for them to wash. But other than that, yeah, they'll do that. They're sitting there doing the dishes. 
No, all right. Sorry about your luck, TJ. I know you gotta can't act it can't act like a normal person, so I have to put you in a cage. Sorry mm -hmm. about that, bud. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry about your luck. The frost are not blood. The frost You should have you should have you should have not ate the paint chips as a kid. It had lead in it. That's right. Bad idea to eat paint chips, man. That's a bad idea. Not good. Not What's good, going man. on, clothes? You looking looking all right? Yeah, yeah, bum number one. This is the channel. I don't know what I don't know what you're talking about. The Odyssey.com uh, slash at real von Helton and then Odyssey.com slash at von Helton too is those are the main channels. Yeah, those are real. Of course, he has the gaming channel. Those are, you know so games you love. You gotta go. I got. I gave him like four fucking links. Yeah, we get. We got the links up there, guy. Yeah, those are all my channels, and I'm like I said, I'm gonna have a fifth channel uh, for diecast racing. Uh, so be on the lookout for it. It should be coming soon. Well, we'll, we'll you know, after tomorrow, uh, we'll see uh, what happens. We'll see uh, what happens. Yeah. So you're gonna go full speed on the um, ear play and aim plans and the diecast when you. Uh... If if everything goes swimmingly tomorrow, uh, yes, I will feel comfortable enough to where that I can. Uh, yeah, like I said, I you know the gods showed me working on this huge British bomber, World War One bomber. And, um, you know, so yeah, but yeah. Okay, so the, uh, we got this guy saying Russia is a lot of permafrost and can't grow much in the ground. But Russia also has a lot of Pontic steppe. Yeah. They, uh, they have a lot of grasslands and flatlands, too. They grow a lot of stuff, too, buddy. Sure do. Russia does, too. And Ukraine grows a lot of stuff, too. A lot of wheat and barley and all that other grain, good stuff, yep. cereals. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that area of the region, that's pretty, you know, they, you know. You can do a lot with it, so I don't you can know. Do a lot. Mm -hmm. That's right. You can do a lot with it. And make sure you all subscribe and like and share the video. The best thing you can do is like the video and then share the video with a buddy. Hey, Von Helton is live. That's right. Von Helton has a main channel, but it's suspended from a flag. Von yeah. Helton has a second channel, but it's suspended as a flag. <laughs> and now Von Helton has a third channel on YouTube, and we're rocking and rolling with zero strikes. Now, someone did try to flag the video down, and I got a message saying that um, YouTube terminated the channel, but I ended up writing back and saying, hey, what, what do you mean? What's happening? So I got the channel back, so we're good to go. So let people know and subscribe. Right. All right. Let's see. We got some nasty people out here. Okay. Uh, Real um, American 7-7, seven, that, is, that is fucking uh, – that's blue. Under a different that's blue name. yeah that's blue under a different name. oh sorry about your luck blue i'm sorry you had paint chips as a kid blue yeah yeah stop your mother stop shouldn't pro your mother shouldn't probably had held your head on the water as a little infant that's what uh should not happen uh, sorry about your luck if trump won 2020 then how can he run for a third term he couldn't run for a third term because you only have two terms as president. Yeah, you could only have two terms, but see, you, know, you can only have two terms as president of the United States. Right, but they stole it from him, so he technically hasn't been able to exercise. Right, he didn't win the second election, so he still has a second election to go. Right. So, right. So if he wants to run again, he can run again. He won, but he didn't win. If that he did, sense. yeah, he won, but he didn't win. Yeah, let's just put it that way. We can't say on YouTube. Nope, can't talk about it can't on YouTube. Can't talk about it on YouTube. Nope, can't talk about it. Let's just say Trump should be president, but he's on vacation. He's, he's on coming vacation. back. He's in Mar Largo. Having a good yeah, day. he's in the Winter White House. The Winter White House. The Winter Wonderland, baby. Winter he's Wonderland. in Florida having a good time. Yeah. Yeah, somebody said, oh, yeah, well, Vaughn, you know, that DeSantis, he's such a great guy. He's, he's an awesome guy. I said, well, now, wait a minute. If DeSantis is such a great guy, why hasn't he released his hospitals and pharmacies to give people ivermectin and hydroxychloroquine when people are literally dying because they can't get their hands on that shit? Or yeah, taking, it, 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 the more freedom we can have, the better. Or they're taking horse version, which is 10 times stronger and killing over dead, which that's not good either. Come yeah. on, folks, you don't take something for a horse. A horse is 2,000 pounds. Okay, you're a not horse gonna, is a horse, of course, of course. A, yes, exactly. <laughs> but you're not going to, Mr. Ed. That's right. But you're not going to survive taking horse medication because horse. Well, I'll be honest food. with you, Vaughn. Maybe I'm old school. Maybe I'm just a prick. But hey, if you're going to take, if you're not that bright, and you're going to take horse medication, 
You know what? You know, I, I'm not going to, you know, if you have consequences, you know, let's just put it that way. I'm not going to feel so sad. Well, here's the thing. The gods told me, didn't even let me get ivermectin. They get, they have me to take Nagella sativa, which basically does the same damn thing. It's the raw shit, right? It's the it's raw, the raw version. Shit. It's the raw shit. Uh, and it's, it's the good it's, shit, it's baby. Good shit, we got man. the good. Yeah, yeah, and, 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 yeah and, man, and that's just, some good shit. Good shit <laughs> and you just take, you just take a few seeds, put them in your, put them in your pudding. And you okay, people? And, and, and you're good, man. You're good to go. Okay. It's awesome. Uh, so, what are we having for breakfast today, Bamboo? You mean lunch? <laughs> oh yeah, lunch. We miss breakfast. <laughs> you miss breakfast. Eggs. We have eggs, right? You want oh, okay, eggs? good. You can have eggs. I, I thought. Wait a good. minute. I thought eggs was hard to get in New York. Oh yeah, they're like uh, they're huge. They're expensive. They're like six dollars, uh, like uh, twelve of them. Damn. You know, I remember when eggs were like two dollars. Well, they're not. Even that was just like two, that was just like a month ago. I know, I know. Yeah. And if you want to get organic eggs, they're like eighteen dollars for those. Oh fuck me, damn. That's I crazy. mean, yeah, it's crazy. It's hard out here. It's hard living out here, man. Yeah, but uh, you know Biden has not made it easy for Americans. Mm -hmm. He made it easy for him and his crackhead son, his pedophile. You know the pedophile dad and the pedophile son. They right. they have a good easy time because they get kickbacks and they steal money and they you know write checks to Ukraine when Hunter Biden is you know working in Ukraine and the money goes right to him. Right. So it's easy for them to make money, but for us. Oh, Stanford, oh, you turned out to be a real sourpuss, huh? Stanford, the kids, I'm not aware that the kids have been adopted out yet. You're you're talking bullshit. There is absolutely nothing that has come across my desk saying that those kids have been adopted out. Now, so, Stanford, I'm going to give you a second chance. I only deleted your comment, but if you if you come back and act like a civilized person, I'll let you stay. Well, it ain't that. It's just that he's he's lying they yeah they, you're lying so stop lying please stop lying they oh never... oh this is a big news actually uh project veritas uh o oh, o'keefe yeah, yeah, yeah. is leaving no o'keefe got kicked got he uh, got kicked out yeah, yeah i watched the video and he's like crying he's like i they put my his... blood sweat and tears into yeah. this i was i did this because uh, i loved journalism yeah and he they basically forced him out it was sick they took his they took his company. Who the fuck does that, though? Who enters into an agreement with a bunch of strangers that they have a right to take my business away from me? Well, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Yeah. Toby, my, Toby Mickle, I have a video telling you exactly how to get uh, that crypto for odyssey you, you watch videos and you accumulate you watch videos and you accumulate money or or you could just go to any any bitcoin uh, uh, uh website and buy lhc crypto which is odyssey crypto and bada boom bada bing you now have shit tons of odyssey crypto uh let me give you the link for the video yeah for the video because it's right there little... on my page <clears throat> it's right there on my damn page. I mean, you can't miss the son of a bitch. It's you can't right miss the son of a bitch. You can't miss it. Can't miss the son of a bitch. It has 91 views, so somebody saw the damn thing. Yeah, 91 stupid cocksuckers who didn't follow instructions. Yeah, That's what you have. To follow instructions, yeah, apparently. All right, anyway, here's the damn link to the to the video. So put that out there. Anybody I'll put that out there. It. there. There's the video. It tells you exactly how to go, where to go, what to do, how to do. There it is. Now, if you if you watch the video and still can't figure it out, well, <laughs> then I can't help you because I I told you what to get. Let me tell you. Let me put it this way: If you watch the video and you can't figure it out, still, then you probably voted for Biden in the last yeah, election. Probably That's voted for probably Biden what in the last election. That's right. Yeah. There you go. Very good. Very good answer. Holy it's hot! Cold, it's at 60 degrees out there. By God. Want to put the heat on? Put the heat on. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're in the North Country. <laughs> you went farther north. Who goes farther north, though, man? I mean, damn, dude. I would have went doing? south. Go oh, south. Yeah, but leave it. I'll put it together. I went south. Give me. Uh, once I'm done talking to Vaughn, I'll put the bed together. Yeah, I would have went south. 
not north. But. I would have went south for the winter. Yeah, I would. I should have went south. It's all good. It's all good. I feel good. I knew that I would now. That's right. Yeah, that, but yeah. Oh my God, dude. Uh, just crazy. Um, crazy good. Insane. We got samosa. Well, that could be a good little snack. We got a what? What? I'm just talking to myself. I'm just gonna once I'm done talking to you, I'm gonna fix myself some breakfast. Oh right. Yeah, oh, a troll, a troll, a troll uh, left a comment in my live chat this morning. He paid the five point five and left a comment in my in my in my chat this morning. Yeah. So apparently the trolls know how to get a hold of this crypto shit. So why don't you guys come on? Don't you better than trolls? Come on, you can do this. You're better than trolls. Yeah, five point five. How much does that turn out to be in American money? USD. In, in real money, in real money, five point five Odyssey credits is about zero point zero 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 one. Um, <laughs> so it's penny, like basically free of a penny. Yes, of a penny. So you're telling me these people can't buy a buck? And then give you like a penny, a penny of a penny. No, I mean, no they can't. No, they there's can't. that cheap skates, huh? I could, I can take, I can take one dollar and probably get, I don't know, five hundred to a thousand credits, something like that. They're super oh, beautiful. Cheap. They're super cheap. Odyssey that is super are, cheap. That is like nothing. Yeah, they're. It's almost like nothing. Yeah, they're super, super cheap. And right. uh, and and so they they have no excuse. I mean, they can't afford a fraction of a penny, really. I mean, come on, man. Well, they're bums, I guess. A fraction of a penny, you know. But, but yeah, five point five. You know, I mean, I I can I I get it. I do get it. You know, because when you see five point five credits on there, it's like, you know, damn that that looks you know that looks expensive. It looks like five dollars and fifty cents, but it's not. It's only point zero 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 one percent of a penny. I mean, maybe you maybe you should be charging five. I mean, these big time YouTubers they get five dollars per comment. Why can't you get five dollars per comment? You know. If I'm lying, then when is Vaughn's next court date about getting the kids back? Well, it's complicated. All right. See now that now that we know that the Frost had meddled in the affairs over in family court. That may, that puts Judge Harris's verdict in question, because Judge Harris may not have been aware that the Frosts were manipulating his courtroom, which changes the whole goddamn yeah changes the whole paradigm. Now, will it change everything? I don't know, but you know, but the gods told me, say get this tiger for the kids and hold on to it. So that's what I'm doing. So we'll see what that means. I don't know what that means. And and the gods told me before I even went in the courtroom, no matter what the judge says, you still win. So what whatever that means. I don't know what that Amen. means. Amen. Whatever that means is what it means, right? What it means, jelly bean. But um, but yeah, I mean what does it mean, jelly bean? Yeah, exactly. Know, we'll, we'll see, we'll see what happens. I, I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. I don't have a clue. And uh, the gods have not revealed that to me for probably so that I won't screw it up. <laughs> but uh but yeah that we'll have to see what happens but uh you know but see with the frost meddling in that courtroom that throws everything in question see so i don't know and then and then there's always the attorney general and the governor the attorney general and the governor can can overturn the judge that just like that 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 easy you know especially when they find out that the only thing i'm guilty of is potty training a puppy in my house which millions of Americans do all over the country every every day. It's no big deal, and it's certainly not child abuse. That's for damn sure. So, I mean, you know. I mean, how many times do we have to say um, to these people that the 3000 didn't come directly from Vaughn? That Vaughn did give the $3,000, but it didn't come from the estate. It, yeah, didn't, it didn't come, come from, from the estate. Didn't come from the estate. Yeah. Really. Yeah, well, yeah. it ended up being, I guess it ended up just being a troll anyway. I think yeah. Brittany's, Brittany, Brittany has some friends and they, I guess they just, they just wanted to do a soft troll of me a little bit. And um, so it ended up just being, 
It just ended up being bullshit, I guess. I don't know. Who cares? It doesn't matter. It doesn't fucking matter. It's all it's all bullshit anyway. However, it would have been nice to have gotten on her show and gotten Freedom Religion some exposure because, you know, she talks to just a shit ton of people and um you know exposure for maybe people. we could still get you on a big time show i mean if there's is a bit is there a particular show you want to go to we maybe we can um no not really no i'm not worried about it and and you claimed it yourself no i did not claim it dragon jim that's a fucking lie go back and watch the videos i never once said that i met, i gave that money i said i said the money was given in my name there's a difference yeah Oh, and by the way, impersonating a police officer, Dragon Jim, is a crime in the state of Kentucky, just so you know. Oh, yeah, J Dragon Jim is... Um... He claims to be an ex-cop or an active duty pol police officer, and uh, as far as I know, he's not either one. Oh, and that's not cool, bro. Yeah, that's impersonating a police officer. That's not crime. cool, man. It is a yeah, impersonating an officer of the law, man. That's not that's that not cool, a, man. It is a crime in the state of Kentucky. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, boys and girls. It is a crime. So we will see what happens. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Well, we'll okay. we'll have the last. Me and me and Von will always have the last laugh, no we'll matter what, when it comes to. We will always get the last laugh. Always. Guaranteed. Yes. Confusing, is it not? Yeah, you see, it makes people's brains hurt when you when they when they think about it. They can't really un <laughs> they can't really grasp it, Vaughn. You're asking for too much. That shows she didn't get a 3K tip recently. Yeah, apparently what it was, uh, her friends were trolling me and saying they was going to, you know, get my name spoken and, you know, maybe get me a spot on her show and whatnot because I wanted to promote freedom religion. And uh, they were just trolling me. It was just a troll, dude. That's all it was. Uh, they were not serious about getting me on her show. They were not serious about mentioning my name. It was just a troll to get, you know, to troll me, I guess, you know, just to have a little fun. And now, see, now that is that is a troll that I don't mind because that doesn't hurt anyone. OK, unlike the trolls that have hurt my family, destroyed my family. What am I saying? Destroyed my family, took all my finances away. Now, see, that's not trolling. That's fucking terrorism. OK, do you understand the difference? Yeah. When you take somebody's shit away from them, that's terrorism, not trolling. You could call it trolling all day long, but that doesn't make it so. It's abuse. In, in trolling, when you're trolling someone, nobody gets hurt. Have I been hurt? Oh, fuck yeah. I damn near died over there several times. Okay, so no. What you've done is not trolling. You have, tried, you have committed acts of terror on me and what's left of my family. Oh, wait. There is no family left. It's literally all gone. My mother's dead. My kids are gone and my wife is gone. All right. So when you go, when you stand in front of a judge and that judge asks you, what did Von Helton do to you that you wanted to attack his family? I hope you got a damn good excuse because I can tell you right now that judge is going to want an excuse. He's going to want to know why you did this shit. And you better have a damn good excuse because the judge won't be playing. He'll be, yeah. serious. he will not be playing around. Well, they're going to get a rude awakening. They're going to get, their eyes are going to be like, they're going to be like, the ears caught in a headlight, they're going to be like, oh, what did I get myself into? And they're going to get hurt real bad. God damn, Vaughn, that's a cute little dog. Well, little is a... Uh, little is kind of a term. It's bigger. She, he, he's bigger. He's bigger than uh, he's bigger than, than Midnight, his mommy. Absolutely bigger than Midnight. I would say twice as big. He's um, about then half again, half again the size of Midnight. I'm such a living doggy. I'm such a living little doggy. Yes, I am. I'm a good doggy. Yeah. Where's that on your lip there? Got some nasty on your lip there. We'll get it off. We'll get it off here in a minute. What do you got there? See, my nose is wet and cold, which means I'm healthy. So that's good. See, I'm good and healthy this morning. <laughs> yeah. Oh, such a cute puppy. I am a good doggy. Yes, I am. 
Oh, this is a good this is a good statement from the fourth world observer. When people do negative actions against other humans, negative will come back their way. Amen to that. Exactly. Brother. Exactly. That's correct. But I think the point is he didn't want to pay. I don't even really know what that means. To yeah, that I didn't pay the $3,000. No, you're not getting... Oh, my fucking God. Are you guys really that thick that you can't yes. fucking understand? Yes, they are thick. Yes. Apparently, yes, they are. must be. Let's try this again, okay? Let's try it again. He did I not give the money, money from the estate. Yeah, well, that too. But let me, let me... I'm still start from the beginning. Let's start from the beginning, Okay. I wanted to promote freedom religion on Brittany Bendy's show. Okay, that's what I wanted to do. And so I approached some of her people, and I said, hey, you know, at least get me a mention out there, get, me, get my name out there, and, you know, and let her know that, you know, that I'm interested in, in getting on her show to promote freedom religion. And so, you know, I guess they were just trolling me. You know, they got my name mentioned on the show, but not in the way I wanted. I wanted mentioned on the show in the idea of being, um, you know, being a uh, being an interviewer or an interviewee. Well, right? being a spokesperson for freedom religion in a spokesperson for freedom religion. And that's where the three thousand came in. And the three thousand, I don't think is even real. I think it's just something that she herself made and thrown up there to make it look like somebody had donated her. Yeah. Because that's a big whopper of a of a well, drop. If you go back, if you go back and watch her live show, okay, she's cracking up about it. She's just sitting there laughing and cracking up about it. So it's not well, she doesn't even really. She kind of shrugs it off, like it wasn't. She even... just blew it off, didn't she? Yeah, I mean, it, yeah. She, the, the very next second, she's she's off talking about something else. Who would bye bye that? Jeffrey, bye bye Jeffrey, bye bye Jeffrey, bye Jeffrey, bye bye. Uh, who, who in the right mind would just blow off three grand? I mean, you know, I wouldn't. Yeah. I'd be like, holy shit, man. You know, I'd talk about I, that'd be yeah, I'd all I'd talk would. about for the rest of yeah. the evening was how much I'd how be much fucking I'd be there. jumping up and down out of my fucking seat. <laughs> I would have fucking scored yeah. like Niagara Falls if I was Brittany. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, but yeah, no, it had nothing to do it, there was no money, no real money past hands at all. It was just them trolling me. That's all it was, as far as I could tell. Because there was no money passing hands, all right? Let's get that clear. It was just What does this him. mean? I, you gloat about being the king of the chat. What does that mean? No, that was Brittany that said that. Get your facts straight. I never said that shit, okay? Quit putting words in my mouth. I never said that shit. I never said I was king so of the Vitney, chat. So Vitney is lying about getting 3K. This is your claim. Well, I think it could be fake. I think that's what Vaughn is saying. It, it could be fake. Be. She never she she never acknowledged that she got that money. She's never acknowledged she got the money. And she was busting up laughing after she got it. It wasn't yeah. real. Come on, get a grip on your fucking selves. It wasn't real, dude. Yeah. It was not real. Okay, it just fucking wasn't. You guys, you guys are so you guys are so fucking mental about getting me in trouble with the law that you can't even think clearly. Now, is she a millionaire? It says is she. Someone's saying that Brittany Venti is a millionaire. Is that true? Uh, I don't know. Maybe, probably does. I mean, I mean, it, it doesn't. It it doesn't. You know. Oh, here's an interesting comment. A lot of streamers do that with big fake tips to encourage more tips. Not yeah. sure if I believe you, though. Well, that's there a good go. point, okay, though. Well, there you go. Mike has just confirmed that they do this shit all the time. So there you go. Mike just confirmed that shit. She so said so everyone should kiss Von Helton's feet. Is that true? She said she was, that? Go watch the video. She was laughing her ass off about that. She wasn't serious about any of that. Well, she did she say crazy. to kiss your feet, though? Uh, well, yeah, she did, but she was kidding about it. She wasn't serious. She wasn't serious about it. Well, yeah. Why does it even matter? Why does it all this even matter? It, it doesn't, doesn't for it doesn't for a wall. It does. It doesn't fucking matter. Well, it matters to a bunch of fucking trolls. See, the trolls are butt hurt because they can't put me in jail over it. See, that's what they wanted to do. They wanted to throw me in jail. They're always looking. They, this is the mentality of these sick fucks. Okay, they're always looking for shit to try to get me thrown in jail. Okay, they 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 fucking went and stole the money off these kids last year at the at the at tax time and so that they could try and blame it on me 
thank God I didn't file my taxes last year because they were setting me up. See, they, they went and filed on these kids somehow. I don't know how the fuck they did it, but they filed on these kids so that they could try to throw me, get me thrown in jail. The fucking foster parents contacted me and said, hey, did you file on these kids? I said, no. And it's a good thing I didn't because these son of a bitch has apparently filed on the kids and we're going to try to get me thrown in jail. See, that's how they are, fourth kind. They want, they're always looking for some way to try to get me thrown in jail. See, these fuckers are all convicted criminals and I've got a spotless record. And they, they are, they're jealous of the fact that I don't have a criminal record and they do. So they keep it trying to come up with way after way after way after way yeah. to get me in, in trouble with the law. And it, and it always fails because I'm a model citizen. I don't break the law. But see, they keep trying. They breaking keep the law. Up. Breaking the law. E for effort, though, for them trying, I guess. because I guess E for trying. effort. Yeah, I give them an E. Yeah. They're constantly trying to get me in trouble with the law. Always. They're always trying to find some fucked up way to get me in trouble with the law. Now, thank God I'm a model citizen. Thank Listen God to this. It's so true. You are you know, it's so true. They act, you're like their God. The trolls worship you like God, Vaughn. Listen to this comment. You have Harry sit every morning with 30, 40 of them just hanging on every word when he talks about Vaughn. It's, it's crazy sad. People have wasted huge portions of their lives Devoted to you, devoted to him. That's you, Vaughn. Yeah, yeah. He's a god. Vaughn's a god. Yeah. Yeah. Think about that. You have 30 people a day, 40 people a day just worshiping and watching you. And then those secular them. videos. And then you have Ernie Chrysler, yeah. who makes movie after movie about you. Yeah. Thousands and thousands of people a day watch them like they're like you're their God. You worship they worship you like God. Well, the thing of it is, I ain't getting no money like it. And then you have Toad, and then you got the big fat Toad. You get Toad, yeah. That Toad's steals our videos. He worships you like God. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I hope you're downloading them, Bun. He is he is slandering. He is slandering and defaming you constantly. You can use all of that in court against him. Oh, of course, of course, of course. A horse is a horse, of course, of course. Okay. For, fourth wall observer says, what if I give Vaughn $50,000 and become his personal security service? Well, there the cash know. app link is right there. You, hey, you can give me a couple thousand, too. The cash link is right <laughs> down there. Yeah, the cash right right in the bottom right of the screen. Or at the bottom or at the top. Oh, the top. The top and the bottom. Right the there, yeah. Bottom, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, but, yeah, you could do that, fourth of all. And you know what? These people would lose their fucking minds, dude. I am not shitting you. If you gave me 50 grand right now, these motherfuckers would lose their fucking minds. They might even commit suicide. They literally might even. I just want to say real quick, you give, give Vaughn 40 grand and give me 10 grand. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm serious. Give me at least 10. Some of these people would absolutely lose their fucking minds. I swear yeah. to God, they would. They, yeah, exactly, they would. They, would. they would go crazy. They go bonkers. Yeah, yeah they would. It. Uh, Stephen. Stephen even knows it, man. Stephen even knows it. They'd lose their fucking minds. Yeah. It's like some fucked up evangelical thing. Yeah, fuck yeah, it is. It is, but in a sick, twisted, dark sort of way. You know, it's in. It's like in some sick, twisted, dark sort of way. You know. Yeah. It's like it's like some kind of fucking cultish t type thing, you know, like yeah. the black sun or some shit, you know. Black old sun, won't you come and wash away the rain? Black old sun, isn't that sick in a way though, T T Toby? Todd ha Toad hates Vaughn so much, he promotes him every day. He literally I hates I us know. so much. I know. He He's literally he watches us. You know, I hate, you know what? I can't stand Pokemon. You know what the truth is? I don't watch Pokemon. Right. I don't like Pokemon. I don't yeah, watch Pokemon. Exactly. I don't have Pokemon movies. I don't have Pokemon cards. Right. I don't have Pokemon blankets. You know why? Because I can't stand Pokemon. Right. Yeah, right. Exactly. So if you can't stand Vaughn, then why the fuck are you watching him every exactly. day? Exactly. What, You're and, watching and, us every and, fucking and, day, bud. And what does that say about his mental acuity? Hello? What does that say about his mental acuity? 
I mean, I mean, is is that is is that sane? Is it sane to be watching somebody you supposedly hate every fucking day and literally? Now I gotta ask, who the fuck is this day? Harry Harry guy? Who's Harry? Who's, he's, who's he, meant, he means to say Larry, but he keeps saying Harry. I don't know why. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> yeah, Larry. Harry. Let's call yeah. let's call him Harry, and let's call Harry, Toad Larry. Toad. Yeah, Harry, Larry. We're gonna call Harry Harry, and we're gonna call Toad Toad, and then <laughs> and who, what are we gonna say for Ernie Chrysler? We're gonna call. Him, uh, eager Ernie. call him, uh, eager Ernie, floppy head, floppy, uh, floppy head from South by floppy head. Turn down all of Larry's videos, a lawyer would eat him alive. Well, don't worry, I think the lawyers are going to eat him alive anyway. Don't you worry, he, girl. He, 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 here's, here's a beautiful thing, Stephanie. Then, this is this is this, this I'm no bullshit here. This is real, okay. Um, Larry Frost and James Arnold Frost and the whole Frost gang, the whole hee haw gang, the whole Frost gang. What have they been doing all this time? They've been lying to people. Okay. They've been lying many times under oath. Okay. So they're already in trouble with lawyers. They're already in trouble with the judge. They're already in trouble with the county attorney. They're already in trouble with all kinds of people. The police, they're already in trouble with everybody because they've lied to everyone. They literally lied to everyone from and, police uh, officers right on up. Man. Yeah. Now, I don't have a problem with Snyder Handyman, but I guess he has a problem with me. Uh, he says, John knows every word, all the lies and denial he and Vaughn are spewing is absolute horseshit. Well, I don't lie, buddy. I never lied. Vaughn never lied. Okay. All right. All right, Charlie Miller. The only person lied was George W. Bush when he lied about Iraq and Afghanistan. That's yeah. who that's who lied. And well, here's but, you know who also lied? Obama lied Obama and got lied. people died. He and he got died. a lot of people killed. And Biden is a big liar. Yep. All right. So we want to talk about liars. Go yep. after them, well, not me. Here, here's the thing, Charlie Miller. Okay. Charlie Miller has absolutely no room to talk. He made a hate video laughing over Andrea getting raped on a Greyhound bus. But, then to, add, but then to add insult to injury, he got his daughter to make a video laughing about Andrea getting raped on a Greyhound bus. Is that true, Handyman? Did you actually yeah, laugh at true. Andrea getting raped? But, 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 but Nick Bravo's hater, Sherry226, joined in and made a video laughing about Andrea getting raped. Ooh. And then she got her daughter to make a video laughing about Andrea getting raped as well. Okay, these people are sick fucks. And they absolutely have no credibility of any kind. None. Zero. The Snyder handyman there is Charlie Miller, one of my haters. He's He, he goes by the name of Father Judgment, or at least he used to. Uh, but these people have absolutely He did it. I was here the whole time, guy. I was here. I've never heard Vaughn say it was his money. He said it never came from the estate. It never came, it from, never the came estate. from the estate. It wasn't his money. No, Yvonne has always made a claim that it was a roundabout way it came from him in a roundabout way. That was yeah, his exact yeah. words. So yeah, Charlie Miller, I don't know what you I don't know why you I don't know why you're being a nasty person why to us. We're lying? not doing nothing to you. Why, why are you lying, Charlie? Why are you lying? That's the question. You know why he's lying? Because he's right. Like the fourth wall observer is right. He's one of our biggest fans. He worship us like God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, fourth wall, you ought to do that, man. If you've got the, if you, if you really do have the extra cash, you'd really do need to get, I'll give you the fucking money back later just to give it to me so that their fucking heads explode, you know? Just the idea of watching their goddamn heads explode would be fucking hilarious. You know, give me the 50 G's on Cash App so I can fucking screenshot that shit. Yeah. <laughs> put it all over the damn internet. I'm Cash what App, rich bitch. Watch, I... these, watch these motherfuckers' heads explode, man. It yeah. would be fucking awesome. I mean, I know you ain't got the money, but if you did, man, that would just be fucking hilarious. You know, because I, once I get my millions, I can pay you back any damn way, so it ain't that big a deal. But it's just the idea of watching these fuckers lose their minds, you know? Because they would. They would absolutely lose their fucking minds. They really would. It would be fucking hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, they, they, uh, they, yeah, I am a god to them. Yeah, you're absolutely right. You, you're absolutely right on that, man. You're absolutely right on that. Because why else? I'm, dude. Oh, that's a great years. point. They use you for content because they can't make any content of their own. Yeah. Oh, dude. 
Dude, uh, fucking Ernie Chrysler, he tried to make his own content and it bombed bad, really bad. Yeah, he's boring. He got, he got like one or two fucking views per video. It's like, oh, he God. has to use other That's people's images me. and and content because he's a loser. He even the Talmud, him. even the Talmud says the Babylonian Talmud says that people who who do this, who who do this shit, that is basically because they work. They don't have anything to, for themselves. They have no. It's like a soap them. opera. You have to watch. So why do you think soap operas, Bold of the Beautiful, is like the biggest TV show in the world? Because people have to watch other people's drama. Right. People have to watch other people's lives because they have no lives of their own. They're boring. They're losers. They're that's yeah. it's, it's, sorry, sex is shit. You know what I do when I shut this camera off? I go make love to the wife. I go out. I have fun. I go to work. I have a life. I have we a whole thing. We don't think I, about I live the American dream, all. baby. We don't think about these fucks at all. Yeah, I don't think about anyone. They live about, you, you live but, rent free in their minds, Vaughn. You're like a <laughs> god to them. When I'm when I'm sitting when I'm sitting here working on this graphic stuff for Fallout 4, am I thinking about any of these trolls? Fuck no. I'm concentrating on my Well, work. Solar ended up uh, sending me an, uh, a message saying, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry what I did to you, John. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And then the next day, he goes on to um, a, uh, oh, what's his name's show? Charlie Miller's. Dieter Charlie Hayley. Miller's show. Yeah. And says so, so much of that most hateful shit about me. Yeah. And I never said anything nasty about him. And he's saying nasty shit about Vaughn. So I, I don't know. if so, Solar, if you're watching. I don't know if I don't know if you're just bipolar. I don't know if you have something wrong with you, but you can't tell me you're sorry and say everything's okay, and then the next day trash me on the sh on the shows and trash Vaughn on the shows. Yeah. So yeah. we're just gonna part ways. Solar, you do your own thing. I'm gonna do my own thing, and just yeah. well, like I said, I mean, it's not like he wasn't told that these people made fun of Andrew getting raped. Who was, right. Who would hang? Well, out? he understands that we're the good guys, and we don't do nothing wrong. I mean, I never said anything hateful to who Solar. Who would hang out? Who would hang out with somebody like that, though? I mean, yeah, I mean, it's that's true. You know, I'm not going to hang out with people that say, that do shit like that. Fuck, man, that's sick. That's sick, man. Who would do shit like that? See, I I can't hang with something like that. Um, but then, but you know, but then I'm a I'm a real law and order guy anyway, so I can't do it. Uh, but, yeah. But yeah, that's just that's just sick, man. But 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 the sickest part is getting their daughters involved. Holy fuck, man. Holy fuck. Getting your daughter to make a video laughing about some other woman getting raped. What if it was your daughter that got raped, Charlie? What if it was your daughter that got raped, Sherry226? Would it be funny then? You better be careful because the gods I serve don't fuck around. That shit may come back on you. You better yeah. be careful what you say and do. Yeah, because <clears throat> I tell you, man, that fucking karma shit, that shit's real. Even atheists admit karma's real. So now you better be careful what you say and do, man, because that shit ain't funny. Yeah, Sammy's all right. I mean, Sammy, uh, Sola doesn't like Sammy either. He's always antagonizing Sammy. Yeah. Yeah, man, yeah, the heart is the heart is uh, lacking. I mean, the gods fix his finger, and, and has he ever given... And then he threw us under the bus, yeah. yeah. Well, the thing of it is, has he ever given the gods any real praise about it? If he has, it never yeah. come across me. I think if he was really, truly praising the gods I serve, they would have let me know, and they didn't. Mm -hmm. Okay, So now take that for what it's worth. Well, I think Solar is redeemable. I think if he really, truly cares he about redeemable, us... He is redeemable, but he ain't gonna, he, he's not going to get there. He's not going to get to that point. And that's yeah, that's I mean, I felt very hurt by Solar. I mean, he sent me this nice apology on Skype, right? Saying that he's sorry. I, I didn't mean to do this nasty thing of you know, say nasty things, and then yeah. and then he went to your show and they gave you a whole spiel for four hours about right. how bad of a cocksucker I am. <laughs> and then he says, I'm sorry. And then the next day he's on Charlie I'm Miller's me. show. Trashing me. Trashing you, trashing me, trashing Sam, trashing everything. Yeah, it's like what the what the hell, dude? You just said sorry yesterday. I know. <laughs> I know. Oh well, that's all right. Sam, Sam's by. Yeah, you know, Sam, Sam, Sam. Hmm, shit. Let me try that again. Sam stands by his belief. Too many asses, man. Too many asses. God. Uh, Sam stands by his belief, and um, you know, and I'm okay with that. You know. See, that's, that's oh, that's a good, a good nickname. I said, of followers, they're followers. 
They're they're fa- they're followers of Vaughn. Follower, follower. It's time to make a make your time to pay the Vaughn God tithe. Yeah, time to pay your tithe of ten percent to Vaughn, your 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 God. <laughs> uh, I got a funny feeling they're gonna pay, guys. I got a funny feeling they're gonna pay. They're gonna pay big. You know? If they ain't already getting their ass beat by the gods. Oh, the, their their soul is paying for sure. They they're, they're going to burn in hell for all oh, of yeah. eternity and it's, oh, well, cast into outer darkness for uh, us. cast into outer darkness. Whatever you believe, it's not going to be good. Yeah, it ain't going to be good. It's not going to be a good. It's not going to be no. a party. That's for sure. No, definitely not. No, definitely not. Definitely not. You know, I mean, I like I I keep saying this, but I, it bears repeating. You know, um, I was shown with me in a pit, in a dark oh. pit. And I'm surrounded by demons literally ripping away at me, you know. And then at the last second, they pull me out and, and, and get me out of there. And I was shown that for a reason. It was shown, first of all, it was shown to keep my ass humble. That was number one. But it was also shown, you know, to me, I believe, in order to make a point. That, you know, a lot of times... I've never you know, called Solar a drug addict. Matter of fact, Solar came on the show and called himself a drug addict. called himself a drug addict. I right. never called him a drug addict. Vaughn never called him a drug addict. No. Did you call him a drug addict, Vaughn? No. No? So I haven't. So I don't know who you're talking about. So now, gonna... I did, now, I did mention, though, prescription drugs uh, on yeah. the live show. I did mention that. Yeah. Um, but uh, I never called yeah. Solar a drug addict. Solar himself said he was a drug addict, not yeah, me. Solar, Solar said that he was addicted to prescription drugs on my live show. Yes, he did. And then that's when I piped up and was talking about, you know, hey, you know, addiction is still addiction, no matter whether it's legal or illegal. And, um, you know, so that but he said that on my live show. He said it, not me, not John. He brought it up. And, um, you know, that's on him, man. That's that's on him. That ain't, that ain't got nothing to do with me or John. Well, we'll see. We'll see how things uh, go. Um, like I said. Solar it's does be- care about Vaughn. You think so? You think he does? I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, how many times is he going to apologize? How many times is he going to apologize yeah, to us and then go out and then go trash us the next day? I know. I know what the fuck, man. You know, I'm sick of being trashed on, man. I don't do nothing to these people. I don't do nothing to anyone here, man. Exactly. exactly. Vaughn don't do I nothing don't. to anyone. Vaughn's the nicest guy you ever meet. Like Vaughn I, doesn't do it. Like I said, when when this thing shuts off, am I thinking about these fucking trolls? No, I'm sitting here working my mods in Fallout Four, or I'm working on a foam aircraft, or I'm or I'm doing diecast racing in the garage. From what oh, I remember, uh, Solo bought uh, dog food for James. That's true. He one did time. buy uh, one one time. He one bought time. what a thirty pound bag, sixty pound bag, or uh, something like that. Thirty pound. He bought one thirty pound bag, and the dogs had it gone in two days. <laughs> So, <laughs> but, uh, but here's the, thing. the but dogs here's, can eat. <laughs> them dogs can eat. Them some big ass dogs. They can eat. But here's yeah. the thing, okay? That Jay fellow, who I didn't even know, actually bought more dog food than Solar did, who I did know. So now let that sink in. Jay bought like oh Jay did five, Jay bought yeah, um yeah, dog Jay food. Bought, yeah, remember he bought like about four bags, five bags. And then, Solar oh yeah, that's right. Him. There was another guy, right? He said, was "Email guy. me if you have any dog food." Uh, I yeah, kind of remember that. Bought, yeah, yeah, exactly. He bought like four, four or five bags. Mm. Solar only bought one bag. So I mean, if anybody should mm. get the accolades, it should be this Jay character who actually. Bought Thank you, four Jay. Five bags. Thank you, Jay. Yeah, Thank fuck you, Jay. yeah. It was. And the, and the cash way. app is down below or above. You can either way. You know, just either way. Cash dot app slash money sign James Paul Von Helton. Yeah. I mean, you yeah, can give all you can give to me, Johan on seven seventy. Either way, I, I I do need your support right now. I'm not even bullshitting about that. I do need some support right now till we get over this hurdle of getting because folks, uh, they left the they left the property in disarray. Listen to this, BB. Look at what BB saying. So you're saying Solar is a piece of shit. Vaughn did not say that. Vaughn did not did say, not say the, that. He did not say that. I did not say that. Damn. Was everybody put words in my mouth? Well, the trolls were the trolls were saying that he killed the dogs because he poisoned the dog food. The trolls were saying that Solar worked for a dog food company and poisoned the food and then shipped it to Vaughn. 
That's what the trolls were saying. Oh, I never even heard about that. <laughs> yes. Damn, the trolls, the the trolls wait, wait, wait. sent me messages. The trolls were sending me messages saying that Solar worked for a dog food company and he put poison in the dog food and then shipped it to you to kill the dogs. That was the yeah. that's what Ernie that was Chrysler and Toad and, and, and Todd and all those people were saying. Oh, I, where the fuck was I at? I don't remember that. You don't remember that? It was, no, well, it was. On, I don't think it was ever on a live show. I think it was on comments on the YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. I never. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember that one. Yeah. You believe his feelings got hurt? Well, oh well. You know, my I feelings mean, get hurt too, but it doesn't seem like anyone gives a shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm over there starving to death. Did anybody send me any money? No one gave a shit. Life? No one. I I was no the only one that death. fucking helped you, Vaughn. He was the only one that sent me a little bit of money. Yeah. He was the only one. John. John was the only one. I mean, I'm, all, I'm literally over there starving to death. Where was everybody's help at? All right, BB, since you're just here to, to start shit, you're going to be put on timeout. If you come back and you're starting again, you're going to be blocked. It's just if you behave yourself, you can stay. If you can't behave yourself, we'll, sh we'll show you out. That's all. Yeah. Solar doesn't work at a dog factory. I'm pretty sure he works at an ammunition factory in PA. Yeah, well, that's probably true. That's probably where he works. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, don't know matter. his personal information. I, really I don't give a fuck about the know the well, and, and, and and let's be clear, that's that's a salient point. Okay, I don't give a fuck because I'm not a troll. <laughs> Right, only, only trolls well, give a shit where people trolls work. Give a shit about, I don't give a shit. Only about trolls care people. about where people live, and yeah. only trolls give a shit about what people do and yeah, I don't care who they're fucking and who they're talking to. It's drama. Yeah. It's like the Talmud yeah. says: people only want drama. They want drama. People have nothing to say about themselves. So they I watch the days of their lives. They worship Vaughn like a god. They worship me like a fucking god. Mm. They fucking cower. They fucking you know go ballistic. <laughs> and they don't get their little bit of cocaine, Avon, you know, the little drug. Yeah, yeah the bond drug, yeah, bond drug. <laughs> but yeah, man, I, but yeah, the, no, the, um, the, the. What do you mean you didn't know he was hungry? He was fucking saying, we, we were making video after video saying he's fucking dying. Yeah. He has no money. I had to fucking start sending him money. What do you mean? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. You betcha. You betcha. You appreciate coming on at lunchtime. All right. Thank you. Well, if you appreciate us, send us some money on PayPal. Yep. Help us out. We we could use some help. At least I could. Like we, I said, yeah. until I get over this hurdle. I get over this hurdle, everything will be just fine. But it's you know getting over. Like this. the video, share the video, subscribe yeah. to the channel, send a donation. These are things you could do to help us. That's right. And That's it, those are some things you can do. Yeah. Well, yeah. If, you know, if 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 a hundred people gave me one dollar, that's a hundred bucks right there. Yeah. See. And these are the official channels that Vaughn has the the karaoke channel, and the news network channel. So check them out. Check them out, <laughs> Mark. Mark, <laughs> I, I miss Mark. Where, where did he? Where did he ever go to? I don't know. Mark still around? I guess he's still around. Mark Dice, I think he's still around. Check them out, Mark Dice. Is he Mark still Mark. around? I don't, know. I don't know. I don't know. He used to say that at the end of uh, at the end of every video. Check them out. He would say that at the end of every video. Turning grave on really. Yep. Yep. That's what happened. I have I have dark brown, white, and then reddish beard. Uh, yeah. I'm like a calico. I'm like a calico cat. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like a calico. <laughs> yep. There you go. Mm. Calico cat, man. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey you now. And they say you don't tug on Superman's cape. You don't spit into the wind. You don't pull the mask off the old Lone Ranger, and you don't mess around with Jim. My do but I dee 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 dee. And that's the truth. <clears throat> yeah, buddy. Hey, Bebo. Old Brothers Auctioneers. We're selling the country. All right, and we got our four segments. Yeah, you ready to go? I think I'm gonna have some eggs. 
Gonna have some eggs? All right, buddy. Sounds like a plan. Uh, Chopper, if you're nice to pay your god, he will pay you some tension, yeah. <laughs> but not but not three thousand. All right. Well, you can give us uh thirty dollars. It's over nine thousand. It's over nine thousand. <laughs> so send us thirty bucks. Right down there, the cash shop. Send us thirty bucks. Yep. Hey man, thirty bucks will go a long way right about now. Well, final statements on anything before you uh, before oh here. Someone wants to know Lady Starfire says, Can you tell us more about freedom or religion, please? Sure. Sure, I can. I'll be happy to. I got a visitation years and years ago after my first divorce to Pamela Sue, and I literally had a choice between life and death. I won't go into any details on it because I've got too many fucking trolls and haters, but it literally come down to life or death. And at that, at that point, I got a visitation. I'm sitting here. My eyes are full of water and shit. And, but I, you know, and, and so my head is down. And this finger grabs my chin and raises my head up. And, and there's this being of pure light. You know, you want to call it an angel, fine. You want to call it a light being, fine. You want to call it a fucking alien, fine. I don't give a shit. But it was a being of light. And they spoke into my gut. Not my head. I wasn't hearing voices in my head. They spoke into my gut. And they said, you have a great and glorious future that will benefit all of mankind. And then, boom, he's gone. All right. So. From that time until now, I'm still wondering what the hell that is. Well, more recently, as a historian, I started doing some research on Napoleon Bonaparte because it was the Napoleonic War that Rothschild was able to steal all the wealth of Europe. See, Rothschild had told the people of Europe that if Napoleon won the war, they would be bankrupt in a week and, to, and that they needed to give their holdings over to him for protection so that Napoleon couldn't take them. Now, who in the world would agree to something that stupid? But yet, the people of Europe actually did. And so, well, what happened was, what happened was they sent a horse saying, hey, Napoleon won the war, sign over all your, all your property and your money. Okay, so they did so. Well, then, uh, two days later, here comes the real rider on the horse saying, no, Napoleon had not won the war. It was the other guy, um, William William the Conqueror or Cromwell or whatever, whoever the fuck, I forget now who was fighting Napoleon. That's, that's how much interest I really cared about it. But the, po but the point is, is that when Napoleon was in power, Napoleon had the opportunity to go down into the Vatican vaults because he wanted to see for himself. So he goes down into the Vatican vaults and he comes back up white as a sheet. And you got to understand, this boy is super white, okay? He's, he's as white as that goddamn background. So when he comes out, I guess he was translucent. But anyway, he comes out, white as a sheet, and he, and, he, and he told his men, he said, I've been down to the vaults, I've seen and read everything, and everything we believe is a lie. Yes, including Christianity. Yes, including Islam. Yes, including Judaism. Yes, including science. Yes, including atheism. Everything we believe is a lie. Okay? Now, as a historian, when I'm confronted with information like that, I didn't have really much choice, did I? So I reached out to the universe. I said, listen, if there's some gods out there that really do give a fuck about us, hook me up. Let me know. Let me know what's going on. And to my amazement, they did. Now you say, well, Vaughn, how do you know these aren't demons? It's quite simple, really. They told me the second I start down a dark path, they will abandon me. They will lead me to my path, to my fate. OK, so no, these are not demons. This is the real deal. I have finally latched on to the true gods of creation. And, and you know, you go back and you read Nikolai Tesla. How did Nikolai Tesla know his shit? He, he reached out to, to the universe. He cried out to the universe. Give me some knowledge. Tell me what the hell is going on. And so did Edgar Casey, the sleeping prophet. He was getting knowledge from the universe. OK, so I finally latched on to the real deal. And, and so I was at, I was talking to him one day and I said, listen, people are going to want to know a name. They want me to give me a name to this religion. What name do I call it? So I gave him five names. Okay. Five. And they picked freedom religion. I didn't pick it. They picked it. They said, go with freedom religion. And, um, uh, and I said, are you doing this because I'm a patriotic American? They said, no, we're doing it because we like the name. <laughs> so, so yeah, freedom religion. So that's exactly what they've done. And so that's what I did. 
I went, yeah, I chose that name. And so now there's an actual name to what I believe. So that when somebody asks me, well, what is your religion? I can say, yep, it's freedom religion. Now I hate the word religion because religion sometimes has a negative connotation. I really prefer spiritual path, but of course, spiritual path, is, you know, freedom, spiritual path. It's kind of a mouthful anyway. So, okay, whatever. But the point is, is that uh, more recently they gave me a prophecy. And this prophecy is called the butterfly prophecy. And they said, you will know that we are in charge when the new world order is destroyed and the GMO is destroyed and America is restored to a republic. And I said, how will I know this? They said, because you'll look out your window and there will be thousands of butterflies everywhere, all different stripes and colors. It is not the migration of the monarch butterfly, folks, like some dunderhead said on, on a video. It's not a migration. I know what the fuck a, a, a butterfly migration is. And by the way, they have it in Vietnam too. Cute little white butterflies migrate in Vietnam. Very, very pretty. Anyway, the point is, is that no, it's not a migration. These butterflies will be all different shapes, sizes, colors. And there will be no, there will be absolutely no way that you can conflate this to some other religion. No fucking way. Because my religion is the only religion that talks about butterflies appearing after the New World Order is destroyed. And by the way, my religion doesn't have a doomsday scenario like all the other religions. Yes, even the pagan religions. Remember, the Vikings have Ragnarok. Well, what is Ragnarok? Holy shit, Ragnarok's even worse. In Ragnarok, all humanity is wiped out. <laughs> it's like, fuck, that's, that sucks. You know, so yeah, the, even the pagan religions are not exempt from all these doomsday bullshitters. But it's but my religion does not have a doomsday. The absolute worst is that we'll have a, a bad patch to go through, and we just got to make sure that uh, Biden doesn't start World War III, and we should be good to go. Uh, other than that, we should be fine. And then, uh, but I, there is no real rough patch or no uh, no doomsday uh, in mind. In fact, once they destroy the New World Order and destroy their fake money and uh, reestablish the gold standard and reestablish the American Republic, everything's going to be great, man. It's going to be awesome. Now, are you saying these gods are America-centric? No. No, I'm not. But they got to start with America because America is the stronghold of the New World Order right now. So we have to start with America. But then as goes America, so goes the rest of the world anyway. So... So we got to start with America. We, we liberate America. Then we liberate China. Russia is already liberated. They're already a Christian nation. I, how many of you knew? How many of you knew Putin made Russia a Christian nation? Show of hands. I bet half of you didn't even know it was a Christian nation. Yeah, they kicked out Rothschild. They kicked out Rockefeller. They kicked out all them elite bastards and, and turned Russia into a Christian nation again. It's amazing. How many of you knew it? Probably none of you. OK, I don't and, think a lot of people do the research, to be honest with you. Ron. Not very many people do research. That's right. So. So, yeah, uh, you will know there will be any doubt. There will not be any fucking doubt that my gods are in control because you'll look out your window and there will be butterflies everywhere. And everybody's going to be talking about it, man. They're going to be like, where in the hell did all these butterflies come from? And you know what? They're going to have to come talk to me because I'm the only one with the answer. I'm it, baby. I'm the only one with the answer. And no other religion, no other uh, 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 ancient document talks about butterflies after the New World Order is destroyed. No one. Only me. And that's why they did it. But you know what's really cool about the whole thing? What's really cool about the whole thing is when you research butterflies and find out what butterflies mean. When you research butterflies and find out what butterflies mean, it's really, really cool. Because they, 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 they mean a new beginning. Because remember... The caterpillar goes into a chrysalis. The chrysalis turns into a butterfly, right? So it's a totally new beginning. Okay, so it, it means new beginnings. It means freedom. Because remember, Pandora's box. What happened at the end of Pandora's box? This little butterfly comes out called Hope. Remember? It was in the story. Go read the story. Little butterfly comes out at the end called Hope. Okay, so... It's it's uh it's 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 awesome, man. It's awesome. This this huge list that somebody sent me a list of all the things that butterflies mean, and they're all positive, they're all uplifting, all positive energy shit, all of it. Okay, and it's it's amazing. All the things that butterflies mean and represent, you know, new beginnings, freedom, um, health, 
well-being, um, you know, flight, in other words, the ability to fly, in other words, the ability to be free in the air, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, it, just amazing, amazing stuff once you get into digging about what, what butterflies mean in the in the spiritual sense and it's just it's and and it's like well holy shit no wonder they pick butterflies you know you look at what what all butterflies mean and then it's like well hell no wonder they pick butterflies beautiful it's absolutely beautiful man it's it's amazing and i can't wait for that day i cannot wait for the day when i look out my window and i see hundreds if not thousands of butterflies everywhere you know, and somebody, some, some idiot was saying, well, I'll see butterflies all the time. No, you don't. I Listen, last year, last year, guess how many butterflies I saw all total? Three. And I live in, I live in a goddamn forest and I only saw three butterflies last year. Three. So obviously if there's thousands of thousands of butterflies out there, something happened, right? Yeah. And there, and there is going to be something happening. The bees are coming back. The dragonflies are coming back. The butterflies are coming. All the good insects that these fucks killed off, they're all coming back. Everything's going to... See, the, my gods are big on restoration. They're big on restoring things, okay? And they'll let... They'll, they'll sit back and they'll let, they'll let everything get totally, completely wiped out just so that they can come back and fix it all back again and show everybody that they are the ones in charge. There won't be any question about who's in charge. Trust me. Trust me, there won't be. But like I said, man, Napoleon went down in the vaults himself. And he come back out. He said, everything you believe in a lie, religion, science, um, you know, all of it. Atheism. It's all lies. All of it is lies. Of course, we know atheism are lies because it was literally funded by Rothschild, for fuck's sake. Karl Marx, folks, for, for those of you who don't know, folks, Karl Marx's cousin is Rothschild. <laughs> you know, because everybody said, well, Vaughn, where are you getting that Rothschild gave Karl Marx a big fat check? It was his cousin. It was his fucking cousin. He goes, he literally goes to him and says, hey, cuz, give me a check so I can spread communism and atheism all over the world. He said, okay, here you go. That was literally his cousin. I am not making this shit up. That was literally his cousin. He's like, cuz, let me have a check. Let me go you know, spread communism and atheism. Here you go. Go do it. Because they love chaos. They love, they absolutely love chaos. But yeah, that was his fucking cousin, bro. Okay. Amazing what you can learn when you actually sit down and do real research, right? But, uh, but yeah, man, it's. it's All right, Vaughn, the eggs are almost done. I'm almost ready for breakfast. And okay. um, I'm going to have to get going here. And then I got to do work with the, eat breakfast with the wife and do a little cleaning and organizing. So <laughs> we were at right. the one hour and a half mark anyway. So. Okay, what she says, I did purchase some Elbury crypto, but it won't let me transfer into my Odyssey account. It's very frustrating. Uh, yes, help at odyssey.com. That's all you got to do. Just con help at odyssey.com and tell them you've got some some uh, some LBRY crypto and you want it to uh, work on Odyssey and they, they'll set you right up. I guarantee. Guarantee they'll set you up. Uh, but it should have worked out. It should have worked out of the box. I don't know why it didn't. But but that's okay. All you got to do is call help at odyssey.com. They'll set you right up. Guaranteed. Or at least they should. So anyway, John's wanting to get out of here. And I'm going to get started working on the fourth set of cabinets. Because I got six sets of cabinets. I got three done. And I got... Uh, uh, hello, Brittany. I got three more to go. So I'm going to get started on my cabinets. And um, Yeah, thank you for donating. And thank you for trying to get it set up. And take care. Make sure Fourth Wall Observer, you say you're going to donate. So make sure yep. you donate. I'm expecting a little cash app. Yep. yep All right. Yep. Take it easy, Vaughn. God bless. Good luck in the cabinets. All right, buddy. Have a better, have a, has a, have a better, have a pleasant day and a better tomorrow. Pleasant day and a better tomorrow. That's right. See you guys. See you later.